since 10 years ago, all the environmentalists, you know, they, they, are, they are launching a lot of propagandists to tell people not to eat shark fins. So many, so many in the oceans. So I hope the environmentalists should think about it. This is not helping the, helping the, the survival of sharks in the ocean. Julia Lung, I work at Plastic Free Seas. It is a local NGO in Hong Kong um, that raises awareness about the marine plastic pollution problem. Um, for me, I love going to the ocean. I like going there to enjoy myself. So when I see plastics everywhere, um, it is not pleasant. Hong Kong is a big global hub for seafood. Um, we have the live fish trade uh, with these groupers and the Napoleon fish, but it's also a massive hub for a, a, a range of luxury seafoods that a lot of people are getting increasingly concerned about, from shark fin, sea cucumber, abalone. One of the other trades in coral reef fish and, and different kinds of shellfish that we see in Hong Kong is for the, the Napoleon fish, which is one of these live fish species that Hong Kong is a real trade hub for and it's actually a very difficult fish to catch. And so to get large numbers of these animals, one of the chief ways in which fishermen catch the fish is by using sodium or potassium cyanide. This is a poison. These are poisons. The problem is that cyanide with repeated exposure will kill living coral. and. The problem is that there's a lot of bycatch, a lot of other species in the path, in the clouds of cyanide that the, the fishermen um, have, have, have produced and left on the reef. So there's a lot of damage associated with this particular fishing method.